Emma Watson, the actress who played Hermione in the Harry Potter movies, recently gave a rousing speech at the UN. Well, this poised, eloquent young woman called for men and women to join together in the struggle for women's rights. Well, what does her speech mean for the future of feminism? That's coming up next on The Factual Feminist. Emma Watson, who now serves as the UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, received thunderous applause for her speech before the General Assembly, and some are hailing her oration as a huge win for today's establishment feminism. Well, I'm not so sure. I think her talk was successful precisely because she showed the way to a badly needed alternative. I think she won hearts and minds because she focused on equality. For the record, Feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Now, she correctly notes that today many reject the feminist label. And in fact, according to a 2014 poll, only about 25% of Americans call themselves feminists. Now, Ms. Watson suggests that feminism has lost popularity because many associate it with an aggressive, isolating, male-hating philosophy. And the more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. Now, she may have been suggesting that the stereotype about male-hating is baseless, but Ms. Watson just graduated from Brown University and it cannot have escaped her that some of the excesses of today's campus feminism, with its penchant for trigger warnings and grievance collecting and demonizing men, even statues of men, I mean, she must have noticed all of this. I mean, just look at these gender activists, how they behaved at a University of Toronto event where Warren, the writer Warren Farrell was invited to speak about men's health. You are scum. Brave apologist, incest supporting, woman hating scum. And not to play the victim, just look at what the Tumblr feminists did to my book on the plight of boys and young men. They burned my book. <laughs> Feminism is supposed to be about liberation, freedom, self-determination, not calling perfectly nice men rape apologist scum or burning books or treating masculinity as a pathology in need of a cure. Now, just to be clear, I did cringe several times during her speech, especially when she lamented the alleged injustice of being called bossy when she was a little girl. And I was sorry to hear her recite a version of the massively discredited gender wage gap. But I forgive her the cliches and talking points because she did a good job focusing on the genuine plight of women living in societies that have not had the benefit of two major waves of female liberation. She made it clear that as a young woman growing up in Britain, she enjoyed the benefits of a, of a mostly gender fair society. So it was great that she gave attention to the 15.5 million girls who will be married as children and girls in Africa who were denied the same education as boys. An American women's movement, a British women's movement that focused on helping girls and women across the globe with their struggle for emancipation, that would have wide appeal. And I suspect that Emma Watson could lead the movement in that direction. But here's what I really liked about the speech. She showed the way to a new kind of gender equity movement. Call it equalism rather than feminism. Men, I would like to take this opportunity to extend your formal invitation. She noted the ways in which men's needs are neglected, such as the high rate of male suicide. She acknowledged the importance of fathers. Now, Watson didn't mention it, but in both Britain and the U.S., men are falling behind in education. They're more likely than women to be injured or killed on the job or to be victims of violent crime. And they tend to die several years earlier than women. Now, in the world's advanced democracy, it's just hard to say which sex is doing better because it's a complicated mix of burdens and benefits. So a modern gender equity movement that would seek to help both sexes with their distinctive problems, that could be so successful. So to answer my original question, was Emma Watson's UN speech a, a game changer for feminism? Yes, it well might be, especially if she and her fellow millennials take it in the humane direction hinted at in her speech. Ms. Watson reminded us that feminism is about human flourishing. She reminded us that men and women are in this together. We complement and need each other. We're friends, not adversaries. 
Maybe instead of masculinism or feminism, it's time for equalism. Well, what did you think of Emma Watson's speech? And can Hermione save feminism or should we leave it to the muggles? Well, let us know what you think in the comments section or tweet to me at CH Summers. And I look forward to hearing your reactions. Thank you for watching The Factual Feminist.